Hi, this is Darren Tweeten, and I wanted to show you how to use the map content block, which is available for WordPress if you are using uh, the Jetpack plugin. So I have an example here on a post that uh, I haven't actually published yet. Uh, this is using a service called Mapbox, so you'll need to go to mapbox.com. You can set up a free account um, which uh, gives you up to a number of uh, map views and uh, then after a certain amount you, you have to pay for it. So here I have an example of uh, uh, Sacramento. I don't exactly live there but uh, the, the way that you would set this up or the way you could uh, add a map. Let me, uh, let me just do one. So um, Go down to the bottom, look for the jetpack category, and then select map. And so then it will ask, add, uh, ask to add a location. So let's see, let's do something like uh, Depot Bay Coffee. There's a place I like to go for coffee. Um, and it's in Auburn, California. So, uh, anyway, it uh, displays a, a little marker there, um, nothing too fancy. You can change the colors to the marker. Um, if you want a custom color, you know, you can go over here and change it to whatever you want. I'm just going to change it to the default. Uh, then for the markers, the way that this works, let me, uh, let me preview this so... You can see what the end result looks like. And this is for a post where I'm actually testing out several of these. Okay, so uh, one thing is, um, there I click on it and now you can see uh, the information. If I go back to the edit page, so here you can kind of see how this works. You got deep, you've got the uh, marker title and then you've got the caption you know, I could change that to uh, greatest coffee in the world. Um, and then I noticed that it was showing up black here. So let me try changing the color. Let me change it to blue and see if that makes a difference. And then I'll preview it again. Okay, so there we go. I click on that so you see the title got updated and uh, has a little caption that I wanted. Going back to the edit screen, um, that's pretty much uh, it as far as the customization. You can uh, change the theme. It's not 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 as much as say if you go to mapbox.com, you can really uh, get. Uh, some customization going, uh, but it does give you uh, four different options here. So this is the satellite view. Um, this is more of a kind of a grayscale uh, topographical. Uh, this this definitely uh, topographical, and then you have uh, kind of the more city view. And um, let's see, you can actually add more. Uh, markers to one location. So let's type in something like uh, Auburn Journal. There we go. And see how close they are. And um, scroll out a little bit like that. There we go. Now let's see if it actually saves uh, saves uh, how far out it's zoomed. Okay, so it looks like what happens is that uh, when the when the map loads, if you have multiple locations, uh, what it will do is kind of expand it to, to uh, fit the map box. Whereas in this case, I just had one location, Sacramento, and it just uh, popped it in the middle right there. So that's the um, map feature. 
or not the map feature, the map content block that you can use. Again, if you just go to the bottom here, you have to have the Jetpack plugin installed, but you can open this up, create a map. You do need to uh, open up an account at mapbox.com and then it will give you your special Mapbox access token. And um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Check it out. If you have a, a, a local business like a brick and mortar or say you want to mark uh, locations that you service, so you have like a, a service business of some sort, uh, you might find this handy.